Shout out sa channel ni Makibis TV. To begin training. He knew the magnitude of the challenge. Barrera was one of the top pound-for-pound -pound boxers in the world, and his two epic battles with Eric Morales were the stuff that fight fans dream of. Oh, good right good hand by Barrera. There's a good uppercut. A oh, good right uppercut. Right there, he should have stopped. He should have started stepped again. And with another right, it seems like it might be some blood coming out of Barrera's nose too. No, I'm wrong. Heavy exchange is Morales yes, coming yes, on. See the little side steps. You see, if you stay there in front of Barrera, he's going to beat you up. But if you use side steps, you'll, you'll hurt Barrera. Morales coming on. Barrera shaking for the first time. Good, over, good overhand right. But you see, there's another good right hand. Another good right hand. You see, Morales is side stepping, so he's not giving any opportunity for Barrera to connect any shots. Because Barrera, what he's looking for is for somebody to stay right in front of him that way he can connect those uppercuts. Good up cut by Barrera. Here comes I mean, Morales. Morales is, he has, he has Barrera pretty stubborn, pretty dazed a little. Oh, oh big right hand man. by Barrera. Oh, Kurt no, Morales. Barrera oh, no. moving on strong. He's, he's... Pacquiao trained like he never trained before. He knew Barrera was bigger, and most boxing people believed the Mexican was stronger. But the gallant young Filipino knew he had it in him to shock the world and prove the pundits wrong. Barrera was quickly installed a 4-1 to favorite, and very few people gave Pacquiao a chance. Even Freddie Roach felt it would have been better if Manny first got by Pauli Ayala before going up against Barrera. But Pacquiao had made up his mind. He knew what he could do, and Rod Nazario shared his confidence. What does Freddie Roach think about Pacquiao fighting Barrera at this point? Well, the last time we were discussing it, he said, uh, although <laughs> he thinks that uh, Manny will have a hard time, of course, since, uh, you know, Barrera is one of the best fighters now in the world. But Manny is so confident. Even for a year and a half now, he's been asking me, I want Barrera, boss, give me Barrera. Negotiate for Barrera. I was just uh, saying to him at that time, you just wait for a while because I don't think you're ready for Barrera a year and a half ago. But now I believe he's ready. That's why I start negotiating this deal now. Young uh, Manny Pacquiao believes that he can beat Barrera because he's younger than Barrera, he's quicker than Barrera, he's a southpaw. The only concern is whether Manny can take the body shots of Barrera, but I think Freddie Roach has built him up, uh, prepared him for that. Well, about uh, body shot, I have no, I'm very confident Manny can take the body shot. You know, uh, in the chin, of course, nobody is yeah. uh, durable. Everybody has his own weakness in the chin. But, uh, <coughs> I think uh, Manny can handle Barrera, especially Barrera, you know, Barrera is a standing fighter. And he doesn't run also. He fights you in the middle of the ring. Take and give and take. And this is what Manny wants. And uh, I believe Barrera cannot take the punch of Manny. And Manny can, I think, I believe, can take uh, Barrera's punches. Well, now this is the biggest fight. This will probably be the fight of the decade. Everybody in the States is saying this is the fight of the year, even before they enter the ring. But for Manny Pacquiao, this is probably the biggest opportunity his entire career, Ron. Well, you know, Ronnie, there's no Filipino fought for, uh, you can say, this only a non-title fight. But he will get the biggest payday of his life. And I don't see any Filipino will get what he will get be getting on this fight. I don't think he will lose. Because uh, when I called him up, uh, he, I mean, he called me up in the States three times. And finally, before I left, I said, all right, the fight is on. He was so happy, shouting over the telephone, thank you, boss, thank you, boss. <laughs> At least, this is what I want, he said. Well, 
good. This is what he wants, this is what you want, this is what we want, and, and this is what the na wants. everybody and the nation wants. And the Philippines wants. Yeah, and I suppose this will be good for our country. A big win by Pacquiao, I think, will help us forget all the problems that we have. I hope so. Thank I, you. Yeah, right. I hope so. And uh, this will be, he will be fighting for the country, I'm sure. For nearly two months, Pacquiao led a Spartan life in Los Angeles. He trained seven days a week at the Wild Card Gym and was totally focused on the clash of the titans. Roach had never seen such a dedicated fighter. Many onlookers at the Wild Card Gym, including other fighters, were amazed at the intensity of Pacquiao and the way he trained. Grim determination was written all over his face. He was an example to all other fighters. Pacquiao was truly one of a kind. When he arrived in San Antonio, Filipinos greeted him with welcome banners. But when he entered the ring, it was obvious that fight fans had reserved their welcome for Barrera. This hardly bothered Pacquiao. He had always thrived on the fans' sentiments one way or another. The more they were against him, the more it pumped him up. Sunday, November 16, was a day to remember. Filipinos prayed as a nation for Manny's success. They gathered around television sets in their homes, in bars and restaurants, and outside showrooms to watch the epic battle. Pacquiao fought the fight of his life, beating Barrera with his speed, his ring savvy, and his awesome punching power. It was a total annihilation. Highlights of that memorable clash of the titans. It could be a dandy, and here we go. Barrera in the white trunks, and Pacquiao is a southpaw. Let's see if he can land that big power left hand, or will he be tentative to do that against the good defense of Barrera? You know, you look at these two fighters, and immediately you notice that Barrera seems to be naturally a bigger fighter. That was a slip. Pacquiao is down, though. They scored the a knockdown. knockdown, so Pacquiao already in some deep trouble. Let's see how he adjusts. He looks confused. Will Barrera come after that him was now? A slip. Pacquiao needs to stay poised here, though, Dave. Barrera's way too dangerous to get too busy on him. Barrera coming in now, trying to find out, even if it was a slip, how Pacquiao was affected. Pacquiao opening up with the big left hand, and Barrera down on him. Early slugfest of a righty against the lefty. Pacquiao slipping through with the left hand. Barrera stalking him. Moving to his left. Pacquiao is getting his jab in. He has landed a few shots. Pacquiao slides the left hand through behind the jab. And even though it's to Barrera's benefit to go 12, for Pacquiao, it's to get out of this early tense situation and try to settle into a fight. That's his goal. He has to stay poised, knowing he could lose this round 10-8. Nevertheless, he has to stay poised. Pacquiao trading with Barrera on the inside. Pacquiao tried a big right hook, and Barrera slams him to the body. One thing about Barrera, he will give you a receipt after you throw a punch. You better be pulling your hands back, or you're going to get tagged. And that's a, the difference between him and some of Pacquiao's other opponents and Barrera has power in both hands so when he counters he can hit you from all angles good body shot by Barrera looking composed here right, he's too proud will they do that I don't know I think they're gonna play for a bomb here somewhere Barrera. it was a day of national rejoicing for days, Filipinos spoke of nothing else but the sensational victory of Pacquiao. At the PBA Games that Sunday, fans rose to their feet to give Pacquiao a standing ovation. The airport was steaming with people when Pacquiao arrived to a tumultuous welcome. He was greeted by Tourism Secretary Richard Gordon, who tailored his wild Philippines campaign around the new national hero.
is what you call a wall of Philippines. We have finally a winner of words. W-O-W, winner of words. And we're very happy uh, we have the president and of course the first gentleman and of course all the airport authorities here, customs, immigration, and quarantine, and everybody in the Philippines. We're very happy to greet Manny Pacquiao, talagang tunay na champion, the heart of a Filipino lion, talagang no fear, at tinakita niya na na talagang pag pinag-insayuhan at pinag-practicean at pinagandahan ng kalaban at talagang nakapokus talaga sa pagka-professional talagang tulog lahat ng kalaban. And uh, we're very, very proud to be a Filipino. Lahat kayo, I'm sure, are proud to be a Filipino. And we welcome Manny Pacquiao, of course, Mrs. Pacquiao, and all the handlers for their great job in making sure that the Philippines can be proud once again. Maraming salamat. Nagpapasalamat ako. Nauna sa Panginoon at pangalawa sa inyong lahat sa walang sawang pagsuporta at sa mahal na pangulo. Uh, nagpapasalamat ako at uh, kay Gwen Gentleman. Maraming salamat. At sa lalo, lalo na sa asawa ko. Uh, Grabe ang suporta niya sa akin. At maraming salamat. At uh, sa inyong lahat.